हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ दार्शनिक आई एस दिस इज अक्षय कदम सो गाइज टुडे ऑन दिस प्लेटफॉर्म ऑफ दार्शनिक आई एस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन स्मॉल कंसेप्ट फ्रॉम गांधी निथिक्स दैट इज कंसेप्ट ऑफ सेवन सोशल सीन्स सो इन दिस कंसेप्ट ऑफ सेवन सोशल सीन्स दैट इज रूट्स ऑफ वॉयलेंस और इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज डेंजर्स टू ह्यूमन वर्च्यूज आई हैव डिस्कस्ड द आइडिया अबाउट सिक्स सोशल सीन्स ऑलरेडी सो आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दिस वेल्थ विदाउट वर्क प्लेजर विदाउट कॉन्शियस नॉलेज विदाउट कैरेक्टर commerce without morality science without humanity politics without principles now in this lecture we will discuss the idea of religion without sacrifice is sin okay so gandhi while discussing his idea of religion he gave uh, one concept about dharma nirpekshata and also one concept related to sarva dharma samabhav okay so this sarva dharma nirpekshata is uh, what we call the western concept of secularism where there is a water tight separation between religion and uh, politics while uh, gandhi when he gave his idea he talk about sarva dharma samabhav that there shouldn't be separation between po po politics and uh, religion but rather state should create a atmosphere condition for betterment of the or for the welfare of the society or pf society where politics or administration should play a role where people can worship their religion in a better manner in a good manner and so dhar sarva dharma sambhav but while doing so religion should uh, uh, politics should treat or uh, your constitution laws should treat all religions equally so gandhi always talk about this sarva dharma samabhav concept okay ishwar allah tere naam sabko sammati de bhagwan so all these uh, uh, songs were full with religion uh, uh, ideas or religious ideas and even in national movement okay uh, in uh, worship religion spirituality was integral part but he was very strong support of secularism sarva dharma samabhav other than that he also gave this idea of religion without sacrifice is sin now what gandhi was saying in this idea concept of religion without sacrifice so gandhi simply meant that if we practice religion just because of a code of conduct the commandments rules to follow to obey then we might become active in religious life in religious protocols okay but we won't become active in as a human being okay we won't be good to the humanity so now just we uh, uh, go out of uh, gandhi ethics if we take about uh, talk about indian philosophy then in indian philosophy you will find one point very unique uh, in hinduism uh, especially that in hinduism there is no commandments to follow okay there are no rules to follow that you need to worship the god five times in a day do this do that rules are never mentioned all are the debates okay about spirituality about morality about religion etc so there are no commandments and largely okay uh, the religions focused on good values good conduct okay mahavira talk about uh, ethics uh, where you talk about samyak charitra and mahavrata anuvratas Buddha talk about uh, extremely about ethical code of conduct in his Ashtangik Mark, and while uh, in Vedanta also, okay, there is a concept of four Brahma Tattva, and where in Vedanta, okay, the ultimate message uh, or entirely, if we look at Vedanta, we get the ultimate message about ethics that in Vedanta there is ethics in the beginning, ethics in the middle, ethics in the end. Okay, so I have uploaded that lecture about Vedanta. You can check that out. to get a detail understanding of what i mean by this so in indian philosophy this protocols rules code of conduct that you need to observe uh, in a religion they are not focused rather more focus is on good ethical good conduct uh, good behavior and that's why in religion without sacrifice is seen what gandhi was saying that gandhi called not rituals okay but sacrifice of pride prejudice class caste is very important to serve the people you should treat human being with the humanity and that's the most important aspect of the religion because i told you gandhi believed that human being is mean not a means but an end okay manushya sadha nahi sadhya hai and religion politics constitution laws uh, economics these are all sadhan means for an end that is human welfare so religion okay is a means for an human welfare the end okay religion is not for rituals religion is not for protocols but religion should ensure the welfare of the humanity and if religion is to ensure welfare of the humanity then religion should be practiced 
विथ सैक्रीफाइसेस ओके यू शुड बी रेडी टू सैक्रीफाइस योर ईगो प्राइड कास्ट क्लास ऑल आइडेंटिटीज एंड यू शुड ट्रीट एवरी ह्यूमन बींग विद द ह्यूमैनिटी लुक एट द ह्यूमन बींग विद द ह्यूमैनिटी सो गांधी कॉल्ड रिचुअल्स ओके नॉट रिचुअल्स बट सैक्रीफाइस ऑफ प्राइड प्रिजुडिस क्लास कास्ट एट्सेट्रा टू सर्व द पीपल वॉट ओ माई गॉड मूवी ओके द मैसेज दैट इट गिव और पी के मूवी दैट मैसेज इट गिव वॉज एंटायरली टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस रिलीजन विथ सैक्रीफाइस एंड वाई रिलीजन विदाउट सैक्रीफाइस इज सीन देन सो गांधी अलाइंड वर्शिप विथ आवर हाइएस्ट रिलीजियस स्पिरिच्युअल मोरल इथिकल बिलीव्स ओके वर्शिप इज नॉट सिंपली मीन्स कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट रिचुअल्स दैट मीमांसा आइडियोलॉजी एडवोकेटेड इन इंडिया superstitions or sir karma kand rather gandhi associate religion with the vedantic ideas of upasana okay with extreme high ethics and morals imbibed uh, in that process so when gandhi talk about religion his idea was truth is god and god is truth or there is no god uh, uh, there is no god higher than the truth or truth is the highest god so in all these ideas what gandhi was talking about that when we worship okay our worship should not be just ritualistic based okay karma kand but we should have highest adherence to the highest religious spiritual messages that religion is giving to the society and we should abide by that that highest religious spiritual messages so today robbing others has become tradition in the name of religion okay scaring the people about something a uh, 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 future scaring the people about the uncertainty their failures and exploiting people using their failures using their uh, weaknesses and this religion has become entirely marketing strategy okay it has become uh, economic uh, aspects are dominating the religion with instead of the spiritual uh, or moral ethical aspects value aspect that should dominate and that's why gandhi said religion should be practiced without uh, with sacrifice so if church temple mosques or your religion as a whole is seen as just another system without sense of service or inner worship then it is futile okay all this uh, when we go to temple church mosques only just, just to perform the prayer just to perform the rituals okay instead of being active in our social aspect being humanitarian in our all social aspects then all such a ritualistic part is a futile what gandhi was saying then people will get drawn into outward observance okay kitni bar main puja archa kar raha hu kitni bar main namaz pad raha hu okay people will get stuck into this outward observances instead of practicing okay the real essence of the religion and real essence of religion what gandhi was saying is a means for an end that is humanity ensuring humanity okay ensuring the welfare and so they will neither be god centered nor principle centered so all these people who are doing only karma kand ritualistic things only observing outward protocols okay they will neither be god centered and they will neither be principle centered okay they will never understand the essence of religion essence of what god was communicating you and they will also never understand the principles of the life okay so they won't be god centered and they won't be principle centered and that's why people who practice religion with sacrifice can only be practicing religion with their essence of what religion was advocating so we are replete with people making money through unethical means and they donate that to religious institutions many bureaucrats earn wealth earn money through illegal means corruption by exploiting poor okay exploiting the society nature environment and then now they fear that god may judge me and to okay uh, ensure uh, this uh, or remove this guilt okay they donate money to some charity or orphanage or some temples or so on no because once you are earning the wealth in illegal unethical means and then doing all kind of charity okay that is not at all justifiable okay first of all don't bribe the poor don't exploit the poor then you don't have to be active in all these religious matters by donating well to charity or uh, some religious uh, institutions and so on okay so first people need to live their life with the essence of religion not just they live their life the values which are very harmful to society 
exploit people and then use the wealth that they made okay uh, as a uh, donation to the this uh, religious institution okay indirectly you take a bribe from the people and you think even god takes a bribe and i have acquired this wealth by all sinful activity but i can bribe the god and get rid of all the sins okay that's not going to happen and that's why gandhi called all such a religious practices devoid of values and self sacrifice to be futile without sacrifice we may become active in a temple he says but we will remain inactive in the religious teachings we will just be active in temples in mosques in churches and activity centered on that but we won't be religious in real life okay and that's why this concept and why religion without sacrifice is sin so thanks for listening guys and stay tuned to my darshani guys youtube channel and also to download notes okay join me on upsc ethics for telegram channel and also download my app from google play app store and stay tuned there where i will be launching a comprehensive asian ethics course so thanks for listening